you'd be able to provide confirmation that you're, it's an employment contract that you're working today? Absolutely, yes. Oh, yes. yes. All good? Yep. We're good? Have a good day, guys. Take it easy, stay safe. He's just standing around here. Yeah. You want to be an audience? No. <laughs> you don't want to be interviewed? All right, no worries. Come, um, what, give me what shot do you want on it? Yeah. It's good, but he actually wouldn't mind police in the background of this shot. It's about police. He's security. Hey, he's our security, I'm sir. He's our security. I'm at work. He's our security. He's our security. Daniel, here at the Supreme Court, we have some news. It's been a few weeks since we've actually filed a lawsuit in here. This is police brutality in Melbourne, mate. That's uncalled for. He's a security guard working on the job. Did you do that to Channel 9? Did you do that to Channel 7? Did you do that to SBS and ABC? Did you? And he's not an offender. He's not an offender. He's my security guard. He's my security guard. Tell us what happened on the day first. Uh, it was a very dynamic situation. There was a lot of moving. We had been up filming sort of between the protesters and the line of police. And um, as the police line pressed forward uh, to move the protesters in, they were pushing towards Flinders Street Station. I'd actually started moving, you and Benji, and uh, I was tapped on the back by Inspector Jamie Templeton um, and he said something to the effect, I can't remember the exact words now, but something to the effect of this guy, arrest this guy. Hey, grab this no, 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 he's security. He's security. Hey, he's our security, sir. He's our security. I'm at work. He's our security. He's our security. I mean, I was wearing all of this as well and it's pretty obvious who we are. I mean, police know who we are. And as I was explaining, no, no, I'm security, I'm here enacting my lawful duty, you know, I, I am paid security, I am hired through a legitimate company to do security. Um, I was arrested anyway and unlawfully detained, unlawfully arrested. That day you were then uh, subsequently fined for being outside your um, five kilometres? Uh, affirmative, yes. I got a fine for being five k's outside of my... Um, radius despite the fact I was enacting my lawful duty and working so I found that strange. <laughs> but we've done two things at the moment, we're fighting that fine, um, the, the police will be silly to actually uh, take that all the way to the court, we welcome them, Madeline's already on that case but we've gone further, we've actually filed a blockbuster lawsuit right here in the Supreme Court only a few weeks ago for unlawful arrest, unlawful detainment, assault, battery, how are you feeling about that? Ah, uh, look, uh, I'm very happy and thankful that you and Rebel News have um, followed through and had my back with this and, you know, I think it's a good step to take because, I mean, at the end of the day, I do feel we were maliciously and vindictively targeted. Um, I feel that the treatment I had, um, especially with things like tightening the cuffs and that, after they rolled me back over to the point where I had nerve injury through my hands, was just um, purely for the point of uh, being malicious, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that, yeah, once this goes through court, that it, it sort of is a bit of a an eye-opener for police that, you know, you can't just arrest people, especially if you know they're doing their lawful duty, which I feel they did know. I, like I said, I felt like it was targeted. Well, I think it was targeted too, uh, and, and viewers at home can see the footage themselves. Um, but obviously, uh, that's what we do at Rebel News. We stand up, we fight. We've got a number of lawsuits right here in the Supreme Court. Um, but we do this with the people at home, with their support. So standwithdaniel.com is a URL where people... It's already cost us $20,000 just to start the lawsuit, um, knowing from personal experience where it was estimated 50, now it's gone to 200. So depending what happens today, what happens, you know ongoing going forward uh, we don't know it could be hundreds of thousands of dollars to fight your fight but we're going to take it all the way to the top we're going to we're going to fight and win for you is there anything you want to say to the people who are going to donate to help this fight at standwithdaniel.com i didn't know there was a stand at daniel.com i'll have to check it out um look thank you everyone I, I appreciate the help and what everyone does and i'm very thankful for you rebel and everyone else that does what they do well, we're thankful that you've always had my back no matter what. And even after um, that horrible incident, you still came out and did your work. And for people at home to know, you are licensed, you're insured. Correct. You work for a, a legitimate, proper security company. There Correct. was absolutely no reason for what happened that day. And police know it. Um, they 
my, in my from where I'm standing, which is quite low compared to you. <laughs> but it looks like police know that they can't pick on me anymore, so they've gone for the next best thing. And we're going to send a message: uh, No, uh, you're not above the law. There are laws there for a reason, and we're going to get the judge here at the Supreme Court to rule on that. And um, the people at home are going to ensure that we can do that. I'm hoping so. Um, once again, thank you to everyone. So it's up to you guys. Stand with Daniel.com, whatever you can give. This is a long fight, as you know, as you said with my fight. It takes a long time and it takes even more money. We need your help. Stand with Daniel.com. We'll keep you posted throughout this journey, but it has already been filed, like I said, a few weeks ago. We just haven't had the time to tell you. No, it's just been, um, sorry, it's, um, yeah, it's just been bedlam with different jobs going on and work and stuff, so. And on that note, we better go and cover this protest. Correct. Catch you later.